You welcome to Hello. Brown Baggin. Yeah. With, with Ed, Tom, and Ruben. So Tom made us lunch today. It's a sandwich. Ooh. That's right. It's a sandwich. It's a, here. Let's give me these. Perfect. What more cliche first lunch could you do than a tuna melt? Oh. Now I'm going to go out, and you said this was going to be a polarizing lunch because this is two things that I generally don't like Damn at all. It. <laughs> but oh. I'm going to eat it. Mm hmm. Pretty good though. Yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah. Are you okay? You guys are sitting too close. Too much here. man hate? Well, you're the one who decided we should all sit like this. <laughs> so guys, speaking of really polarizing things, we got our uh, topic of discussion for the day, which is summer camp. Summer camp. Mm -hmm. uh, summer Oh, Matthew or... Dibbling, right? Yeah, Matthew, on, yeah, on Twitter. Who is, I worked with him at summer camp. Oh, and okay. I feel like summer camp is one of those things that you either have to love or hate. Like, right. I, I, for example, I'm not a camping person. Mm -hmm. uh, there's three things I hate in this life. It's avocado, tuna, and camping. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, this is your show. Mm -hmm. And I will say this, from working at summer camp, uh -huh. that cliche of the horny counselors, 100% true. Oh, yeah? Really? 100%. You were a camp counselor. Yes, I was. Were you horny? Yes. Any woodland creatures ever in, in danger of... <laughs> having, like, are we talking about, like, bestiality here? Sure. Yeah. Not in my case. Okay. Well, I'm trying to think if I ever went to a summer camp. Not a summer camp proper. I did the, like the YMCA summer camp where it's mm. basically like your parents leave you under a hot gazebo for six hours out of the day and then come pick you up. <laughs> and you have to pretend that it was fun, mm -hmm. but it really wasn't. Mm. Play soccer with like a flat ball. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben, I remember you saying like, um, I have a hard time checking out like, I, I would need like a device if I was going camping because you like need that checkout. I do have a hard time checking out, but after like, the first 12 hours of acclimation, mm -hmm. I'm pretty okay. Like 40 beers in, no problem. <laughs> yeah, when I am no longer functioning <laughs> drunk, <laughs> then I don't care. Yeah, I stopped caring about checking the internet first mm. after like 10 beers. Yeah. And then mm. after 20 beers, I stopped caring about being conscious. Yeah. After like 30, I stopped caring about breathing. Uh huh. And then after 40, I, I stopped caring about living. But you somehow managed to change your profile picture after yeah. 40. No, yeah, like there's a, like a, it's almost posthumous. Yeah, it's like, bro <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna look like when I die from all this beer that it's I like, drink. By the time you see this, I'm dead. <laughs> but I want you guys to know. But we also used to do, um, we also used to have to police kids because it was so inevitable. Yeah. Like, especially like the older kids when we'd be like, movie night. We would always do a movie night. Just massive frottage. Yeah. You'd have everyone laying on. Their little sleeping bags, mm. lights would be off. We just, had in a sex burrito, just oh. yes, yes. And we had this thing called uh, sex burrito. <laughs> we had this thing called sex, sex burrito. burrito. And huh, I wonder what. Yeah, okay, that is a bit misleading. Yeah, and if, yeah. if there's if it's really? big enough for multiple people, it's a sex idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I thought maybe like if it's just two people, it was a sex like enchilada or taco, mm -hmm. depending on the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then we had the Mexican pizza, which was just messy. Sex is a lot like Taco Bell, like it's all the same ingredients yeah. just put together in different <laughs> ways. Different configurations. Oh, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. And you'll have <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> it leads to, yeah, it leads to regret almost mm -hmm. every time. But we had a thing called uh, hand check. And that was this thing we would say before we watched the movie. It, whenever we yell a hand check, everyone has to put both hands in the air. What? To that's... like prevent the, just to like stop people from Groping. Wait, and so how, how often was the hand check? Like, like how, whenever we felt like it, fifteen minutes every fifteen minutes. Because I feel, I feel like oh, if yeah. you're a teenager, you're it getting didn't matter. You're getting off. Could you, could you minutes. tell? Like all that, a bunch of hands go up. You're not like, all right, let's cross reference this with the number of campers. Two hands. The lights come down. The blue lights come up. No. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> People's hands are just like <laughs> glowing. <laughs> the fucking, like the they blue. look like ET. Just like all their hands glowing. It looks like a blue man group performance all of a sudden. <laughs> Just. Or like some weird Amnesty International ad that's like, stop, child abuse. Oh, gross. There's like that, that one girl who like everybody knows and like her corner of the room is just glowing like it's a, it's a beacon. Yeah, it's like blinding us. <laughs> okay, Kennedy, <laughs> back to your cabin. <laughs> Why'd you name Kennedy? Because I, I wanted something not sexist. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because yeah, the, the setup of that one girl. <laughs> wasn't sexist at all. Not at all. <laughs> like, I, mean, no, look, I can't be responsible for people's reputations. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I think this was a pretty sell, pretty successful uh, first brown bag. You know, I've got to say, uh, the tuna melt was really good. And you can find Tom's tuna melt recipe in the comments below. You can find us at edtomandruben.com. 
right on Twitter at Ed Tom and Ruben. Mm-hmm. We have a podcast called Welcome to Super Basement uh, mm-hmm. that uh, you guys can check out. Subscribe on iTunes. It is also in the description. Sweet. See you next time. Bye.